Hey guys, Legal Lockpicker here. Uh, today's video, we're going to go over the True Value uh, 1100 clone. I can't get any other information on it other than it has five pins. These are the keys. I, was, I just there's no there's no marking on this whatsoever other than True Value. I think True Value is a subsidiary of Ace Hardware. Um, and I've done, I've searched for these, any information where you could buy them, where you could sell them, where you could steal them from. I mean, I can't get any information on this other than I found a few of them on eBay. So I purchased them. And then, of course, the, the guy who I purchased them from asked me if I wanted to purchase a few more. So I purchased a few more. Um... And these are really interesting locks. They're they're very. I'm actually surprised with how <laughs> how good the cores turn on these. Um, it's very smooth. Um, they're very difficult to pick. From what I can tell, it's just packed with spool pins, um, or maybe uh, T pins or mushroom pits. Some some sort of pin like that. And um, I'm actually going to bore a hole and try to turn one of these into a cutaway. But, uh, oh, and one other very important thing we need to do. I want to show you this pick that I got in, from Jeff Burke. Um, this is one of the most, um, like, this is the, it's one of the most amazing picks I've ever seen. And, you know, my grubby hands do not do it justice at all. Um, I mean, it's just beautiful. I mean, you can just see how how long the actual pick is itself compared to other picks. It fits perfectly in your hand. It would make a great uh, Lock Picker United pick, right? Don't they have the thing with the hand like this? <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's you know, uh, I, so that's what we're gonna pick the True Value uh, lock with. But I just wanted to show you guys how just beautiful and how well made this pick is. And why it's definitely going to go on the wall. I don't even feel like I could use this because I might damage it. But, you know, I, I couldn't have, uh, I just couldn't have given you exactly how awesome it is without fully understanding it unless you saw it. And I still don't think you'd get the whole thing. But let's get rid of some business first. Of course, uh, you guys remember on Friday, had a little giveaway. It was the Packer. And then we also had the uh, the Serenity kit from Chris Dangerfield over at uh, Lockpick Tool or uh, Lockpick World. Um, I managed to get just about half of our goal of a hundred before I gave it the upgrade. So unfortunately, we did not make that. Um, so the winner is going to get this, and they're going to get the padlock. And we're going to try again. Um, we're going to try again shortly and see if we can't reach that 100 goal, but uh, I actually picked somebody, uh, a video I made about an hour ago, but unfortunately the file was corrupt and it wouldn't load, but the person that was picked for that, um, the name was Mr. Uh, Mr. Raz or Ass, I, I don't know if that's, it's Mr. Raz or Ass, I, I, you know, if, if you see this and that's you, then just get uh, in contact with me via email, and I'll get that out to you sometime in the next uh, two or three months. <coughs> no, I'm just kidding. We'll get that out to you. Um, but, okay, let's get back to this. So this is the uh, the true value lock I was telling you about. Um, at, whenever I try to pick this lock, there, there's no screw. There's no way to, you know, take anything out here. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to pick it open real quick and uh, see how that goes. Now, normally you want to, you know, get this as close to your lock as possible, your top of the keyway here, because if you have more control over the tensioning, then obviously you have more control over it. So you're, you're better adept to handling the tensioning process. Unfortunately, for this particular lock, for the way that I pick, I have to keep it like this because 
when I'm picking it, every single pin in there gives me counter rotation. So for whatever reason, I have to, it, it's easier for me if I hold it like this, especially when it comes to the counter rotation part. So um, I understand this part's a little long, so I do have to hold it a little differently. But I'm gonna see if I can't show you. It's, I don't really have a good view from behind the camera, but let's just give it a shot. Um, now that's lovely, come on now. Okay, so here, this is a really great uh, pick that he made, but see I'm using the bottom of the core here to push up, and then if you watch my finger, you'll see the, just after the first pin. Now that's just from one pin. That movement is from one pin. So, the next one. Now whenever I, yep, I'm getting more counter rotation. Okay. So now we're gonna go to number three. More counter rotation. You hear the click? Okay. I don't know if you can s see it but now I can't see it but see more counter rotation there we go so this lock is just packed to the gizzards with the counter rotation and it's such a great um, great lock to pick so I really do uh, I really do like these and I'm just shocked at how many security pins are in it and the fact that it's all brass it's just really a great lock and I'm so glad that I uh, was able to get it. Uh, I have, I think, uh, two or three I'm going to give away uh, in an upcoming giveaway. Um, and I think the rest are going to be traded. But if you guys like this video and you want to see more of my upcoming videos, all you have to do is subscribe and make sure to like and share so that way other people can enjoy the same content that you enjoy. And if you have any tools that you think might interest me or you'd like to see me review or look at or any of those types of things, just let me know in the comment section or the description. Have you ever seen this lock anywhere? Do you know anything about it? Let me know in the description as well. All right, guys. Have a great day.